Unitech is back with their game card reader for the Nintendo Switch, but it has evolved. There are a number of main changes that make this significantly better than the previous version. And in addition to just being a game card switch, it also does this neat little trick. It's a dock now. I'm Nihongo Gamer, and we're gonna go through all of the main changes to this special device, which switches your games for you without you having to actually go up to your Switch and put these cartridges in. You can put four of them into this device. Full disclosure, Unitech sent this to me for the purposes of making this video, but they didn't ask me to say anything specific and all opinions are my own. What you need to know essentially was that the previous version would hook onto the back of your Nintendo Switch dock and they would plug this cable in like so, so that you had access to four of your Nintendo Switch games, but you could access them without actually taking the card out and putting it in. However, the thing about it was that you still needed to use your Nintendo Switch dock. It's not that it required a dock, but it needed electricity <laughs> to work. Well, that has changed because now it has evolved. And instead of being just the game card switcher, you can actually throw away your dock entirely like so, and just use this as your new dock. And then you have access to all four of your games that you have in here. And you just tap it like this, and then it switches the games for you. But in fact, there is one main thing which is significantly better than the previous version. If you already had your Nintendo Switch dock available, you don't really need to go out and buy this version just because it's a dock. This is a remote control. This is one of the main things that I wanted them to change on the original Unitech Game Switcher when I reviewed the previous one, being able to change the games from the comfort of your sofa. If you're playing on your Steam Deck or your PlayStation or any game that has got digital downloads, and the Switch has digital downloads as well, when it came to the physical games, you're like, oh, you know what, maybe I'll just buy it digital because I don't want to keep switching it. Well, that was a problem on here because you still had to go up to do the Switch press the button to switch it. And then it's like, if you're walking all the way over to the Switch to press the button, why don't you just walk over to the Switch and change the cartridge yourself manually. But the fun doesn't end there because this Switch dock also has one more trick up its sleeve. You can now break it into two different pieces. This is the original game card switcher and it works just like the original version. I can slide this onto my dock and then I can put my Switch in the original OG Nintendo Switch dock. If for whatever reason you require this dock or you prefer this dock, you can now still use it just like the previous game card switcher by plugging this into here, but you now have the ability to use this the remote control. And that means that if you buy this one device, you can use it with your old dock and then you still have this other dock which you could put in a bedroom. When you do slide this back onto the Unitech, look, you can slide this on here and then actually close it nice and compactly. You know, the original Nintendo Switch dock was kind of bulky and unwieldy and for no real reason, it was kind of huge. The Unitech Switch dock itself, apart from this wiggly cable that's jutting out, it's actually kind of nice and compact and this is kind of satisfying to be able to click this shut. You know, as a mechanism, it's kind of nice that it's like, oh, okay, it's in portable mode now. You can actually see that it is providing support for the Nintendo Switch so it doesn't fall backwards, it's actually at a good angle. And you also have an Ethernet LAN port, which I believe was included on the OLED Switch. Mine is a standard one, so I didn't have a LAN port. That's just one piece of equipment that I no longer have to carry around because the Ethernet port is built into the dock. And on top of those standard dock features, this one's a little bit better than a normal dock because you can still see the screen, which means if you don't have a monitor plugged in with HDMI, the screen will turn on like this and you can still see the screen and play on it as if it's in tabletop mode. Let's talk about a few things that are not quite perfect. First of all, the design kind of bothers me. Although it is kind of cool that you can separate these two parts and then, you know, use this on your OG dock and then use this just as a separate dock. Like, I suppose that helps value for money if you're trying to justify buying this. The thing that makes it kind of weird is that this actually doesn't work unless you plug it in with a separate cable. So as you can see, looks really cool that it slides in like so, but it's not actually making any kind of electrical connection in order to get electricity from your power supply to the actual game switcher, you still have to plug in this cable. So you're plugging it from here to itself. 
here. Couldn't they have just built this USB-C port into the actual part here so that you, you know, get an instant connection when you connect it like so. The next thing that bothers me is that when you've got this plugged into the OG dock, you've actually got ample cable to go all the way into the top of the Nintendo Switch like so. But when you've actually got it plugged into the Unitech dock itself, this cable is just way too short. I will just show you right here. As I try to plug this cable in, you can see that there's just like barely enough to actually come in at a straight angle. The second thing is that the only way to get this cable in, you, can, you either push on the ribbon cable, and of course you are causing a little bit of damage every single time you do it. Or you like get your nails and you just find a little bit of the plastic so that you can just click it in like so. What it needed before and what it still needs is a little plastic tab so that I can push down on the tabs instead of having to like use my fingers to sort of press on the back of this dummy cartridge. One more thing that hasn't really been improved since previous versions is that if you don't use the wireless remote switcher or if it's run out of battery or whatever, the only other the button to switch it is on the device. Now it's good that there is a button on here in case you've run out of battery, but it's on the device and not only that, even though it's got colors that show you like which cartridge you selected, which is really unhelpful, it's like if the LED is yellow, it's like which one is that? Is that game card one or game card two? And then you press it and it goes pink. It's like, okay, is that game card three or is that game card one? I have no idea. Literally from the front, you physically cannot see what color that button is anyway. So why even have colors? What should happen is that it should have the button on the front over here, but these are not buttons. These are just simple LEDs. They pop up white when they're on the dock has no idea what's going on on the game switcher. They're two separate devices. One small thing that Unitech lists as a feature, which I think is actually kind of detrimental to this product is the storage slot. Now, I understand why it's there. There was just a bit of extra space on the device and they thought, hey, why waste it when we can turn it into a positive? So instead of having a plastic gap here, they actually put a little hole, which is the size of a game card, so that if you have, five physical games, you can put one of them in the storage slot. And it's like, why? Why would you put, why would you put one game in the storage slot? Conceptually, it makes no sense to create a device which fixes the big problem, but then it gives you this option of, you know, but maybe you do still have a game that, you know, maybe that doesn't fit into the four slots here. So if you put it in the storage slot, now you have an excuse to walk up to your Nintendo Switch and still pull a card out and put a card in, which is precisely the problem that we were trying to solve by buying this device. Now there's one thing that's not really an issue per se, but just hasn't really been fixed since the previous version and I don't think they really can fix it. It's the fact that once you're plugged in, you're plugged in and that kills one of the Switch's main features. Let's say that you have to give up the TV to someone who wants to watch Netflix. You just pull it out and you're playing the game. But you can't use that feature when you're plugged into the Unitech game switcher. You effectively kill off one of the main features of the switch because you're still connected to the game switcher and if you were to unplug it like so, the game will crash because you would had to turn off the game in order to undock. Now you might think that when you pull it off the dock you could just take the Unitech game switcher part with you and just leave the dock at home. But unfortunately that doesn't work because this game switcher does not work without electricity. It needs five volt power. So you would have to find some way to continuously supply five volts to this after you unplugged it from the dock. While I'm holding the game card reader, one more thing I will mention is that when you put these cartridges in, it feels okay, but when you pull them out, you feel a slight snag on the cartridge. Now I've had no issues with my cartridges, none of them are broken, but it holds them really tightly and it just makes me feel a little bit anxious. But like I say, Nothing's happened yet and I haven't broken any of my cartridges. And one last thing I will mention about this is that as you can see, now that it's unlike the old dock which had a cover on the front, there's no cover on the front protecting the switch which means that it can rotate forward. But if it rotates forward, that means it's got a USB-C port underneath which is being bent. So if you were to force this forward like this, it would snap the either USB-C cable or it would snap the port on your switch and of course that would be a very expensive to replace. Listen that's about it for the Unitech game card reader slash docking station now with wireless remote. 
first of all, I think it's a fantastic addition having a wireless remote because that is kind of what I asked for. I consider this remote an essential item. It does bother me that you don't have just a one, two, a three and a four on it. You have to like press it and just go through the switches one by one. It's a little bit cheap, but again, the device itself is not that expensive. On the topic of price, however, even though you get quite a lot more than the official dock for the price, I don't know if this is really the price I want to be paying for this. And what I really mean by that is functionally, it does so much more, right? It's a dock. It's also the game card switcher. It's also got a LAN port built in. And it also means that you can play the Nintendo Switch in tabletop mode. And of course, if you wanted to use the game card switcher, it does also work if you plug it onto the OG dock as well. Because of the issues that I mentioned, it just feels like it's not like a premium product or rather conceptually it's like only halfway there but not all the way there it's like if it were actually thought out like you put it on here and that's it it's now connected the fact that you still have to plug on this extra USB-C cable to get the power it's like not only is it l ugly but just design wise it feels like you went halfway there, but you could have just gone a little bit further and made it a finished product. Instead, it's kind of like a hack. It just looks like a hack. It's not a hack. And obviously, it's preferable to having to walk up to my Nintendo Switch and change the cartridges. In 2024, it's an important topic, whether we should be bothering to buy physical cartridges. Not having physical media is becoming a serious issue recently because some companies are just pulling games they're just like for whatever reason we don't have the license for that anymore so it's not on the store which means you can't re-download it which means that even though you paid money for it you don't have the ability to play it perpetually so having a physical cartridge would fix that problem as long as there's no sort of like remote way for them to disable the game so actually i'm very very grateful that this sort of device exists because it is trying to make physical media a more viable option instead of saying hey if you want the convenience you have to buy digital which i just despise and also subscription services it's not that i despise them but it's just like they obviously have their issues functionally <laughs> It does everything that it needs to do and it does it adequately well. Anyway, that's all for today. Check out this video next if you love Nintendo Switch and you want to check out other accessories for it. I've been Nihongo Gamer. I hope I'll see you real, real soon.